Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in today. I'm Wayne McDonald. You're listening to Living an Abundant Life. It's our purpose to help you live an abundant life, transform your family legacy, and live the dreams that are in your heart. I want to talk to you today about the three top causes of inflammation in the body. Number one, the number one cause of inflammation, you ready for this, is refined sugar. Refined sugar is inflammatory. Think about when you were young. You might be young now and you're listening. If you want your face to break out, if you want lots of pimples all over your body, well then just ingest large doses of refined sugar and it will cause you to break out. Why? Because refined sugar is inflammatory. It causes inflammation in the body. Refined sugar is ingested by Americans at a rate of 180 pounds per year. That's how much sugar the average American ingests in one year. 180 pounds of sugar and it causes inflammation in the body. Now don't just wrestle with the desire for something sweet, but replace your sugar intake, that refined sugar intake with something that's good. The sugar that comes from fruits, bananas, smoothies, a little bit of honey, Specifically, if you want to put honey in it, use raw organic honey. That's the best. And local is actually the best. It helps to build your immune system. And that smoothie's full of vitamins and minerals. Oh man, I have a wonderful smoothie that I drink every day with frozen bananas. And I put kale in there. And I put a little bit of honey in there and flaxseed. And it's just wonderful. There's about 10 to 12 different ingredients. Avocado. I blend all that together in a smoothie. Feed that frozen bananas in there, comes out like a milkshake, a little bit of honey, and it's sweet. And man, it feeds my body with the nutrients and the vitamins and minerals that I need. Kills cancer cells, kills and destroys disease and sickness, inflammation. Now, the three top causes of inflammation in the body. Number one, refined sugar. Okay, so you don't have to just say no to that sweet craving. You replace it with something that's good. You can also use stevia. The stevia plant is very good. You want to satisfy that sweet craving? Just use a substitute, an alternative to refined sugar that brings life, such as raw organic honey or stevia, or you can get that sweet tooth of yours satisfied through fruit. And just like anything, you have to train yourself to eat that way and to think that way. It's a new way of thinking. When the average American ingests, on average, 180 pounds of sugar per year, there needs to be a paradigm shift in our thinking. But it can be done. So refined sugar is the number one cause of inflammation in the body. You catch a cold, but you give birth to sickness and most diseases come from inflammation in the body and inflammation is a result of us making wrong choices over a long period of time and putting in the foods that cause that inflammation even though God has designed our body like a tank and it can take a lot usually when people you know get in their 50s and their 60s sometimes later they start having issues okay with certain types of food that cause inflammation. And number one, the biggest cause of inflammation in your body that gives birth, can give birth to disease, most diseases, refined sugar, okay? And then number two, fried foods. These are the top two causes. Refined sugar and f foods that are deep fried. Fried foods in everyone causes inflammation. It doesn't matter if you're young or you're old, it causes inflammation. Now you can eat that way. You say, you don't mess with my sugar, don't mess with my fried chicken or whatever. You can keep eating that way and do it for a very long time, but eventually it's going to hurt you. Vegetable oil, peanut oil, when you're deep frying, 
in those types of oils, they are not good for our system and they cause inflammation in the body. So number one, the biggest cause of inflammation is refined sugar. Number two, fried food. It causes inflammation in the body. And then number three, the third area, now there's more than three, but I'm just dealing with these specific three areas. I want you to think about this and I want you to focus on changing your diet, finding the alternative to that sweet tooth. Get it satisfied through smoothies, frozen strawberries, frozen blueberries, frozen bananas, a little bit of honey. Oh, you'd be surprised how good that is. You mix that in with some flax. Um, it's just, it's wonderful. I tell you what, I used to have a strong desire for ice cream and I used to eat a lot of it and I replaced that craving for ice cream with smoothies and I drink one a day, sometimes two a day, and it satisfies that sweet craving. So I might eat ice cream maybe once or twice out of the entire year. Why? Because that desire for sweets is satisfied with the good kind of sugar, with the good kind of sweet. Okay, now, second thing fried foods. Try to stay away from using Crisco and, and using the bad types of fats. They're good fats. If you want to put something in oil, use organic coconut oil. Extra virgin coconut oil, that's organic. Extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. If you want to use oil, that's the good oil. I cook with oil. I cook with coconut oil and I cook with extra virgin olive oil and they're organic and I use them every day in my diet. It's the good oils. You know your brain is made up of a great percentage, a very high percentage of fat. Your brain needs fat but it needs the right kind of fat. And actually, if you get the right amount of fat, the right kind of fat in your diet, it'll actually help you lose weight. It'll actually, what I do with my system, and I've done for decades now, is get into a place of nutritional ketosis, where usually after a certain point in the day, I stop eating, and I stop drinking, and I go on a fast. And this is pretty much taking place in my life almost every single day. After a certain point, usually it's between 6 and 7 o'clock in the evening, usually. Sometimes a little earlier, sometimes a little later, depending on the schedule. I'll stop eating and go on that 12-hour fast, not eat for 12 hours. And when you fast, it puts your body in a state of ketosis. You could call it the keto zone. And what happens is your body then it starts burning fat. Okay, I'll do another broadcast specifically just dealing with that. But today I'm talking about primarily the three main areas that cause inflammation. See, if we can get rid of the inflammation in the body, what's causing it, and then bring in the solution to get rid of it, you can live a disease and a sickness-free life all the days of your life. Fulfilling what Jesus said in John 10.10, 10, that he came that we might have life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. So replace, you can still use oil, but use extra virgin cold pressed olive oil when you're cooking something if you want to put it in oil. And then use extra virgin coconut oil. Those two oils are very good for us. Of course you don't want to do them in excess, but it's okay to have a little bit of that tablespoon a day of that olive oil, that coconut oil, one a cup, a tablespoon of each in your diet. When I, when I eat eggs in the morning, I put coconut oil, about a teaspoon of coconut oil in the pan, and I swirl that around in there, and then I put my scrambled eggs in there. Oh, it's just wonderful. Okay, then the third area that causes inflammation in your body. You ready for this? Gluten. Most people are totally unaware that anything that has gluten in it, gluten causes inflammation in the body. So to recap today what we're talking about, we're talking about the three top causes of inflammation in the body. We understand that we catch a cold, but most sickness and disease, most disease is caused because of inflammation. That's the root cause. You get rid of the inflammation you'll begin to get well. So we're going after in today's broadcast talking about the 
three causes, the top causes of inflammation. There's more, but these are the three top. They rank number one is that refined sugar. So we don't just fight with the desires for something sweet. We replace it, bring in the alternative to refined sugar. What would that be? Honey, stevia, fruit, frozen fruit specifically. When you put it in smoothies, to take care of that sweet craving, a little bit of organic raw honey builds up the immune system, actually feeds the cells instead of destroy the cells. Okay, number two, stay away from peanut oil, Crisco oil. Those are destructive types of oil. Stay away from fries, uh, f fried food, French fries that are deep fried chicken. That's deep fried. Stay away from that type of fried food. If you want to use oil, use your cold press extra virgin olive oil or your or, an organic or organic coconut oil. Okay. And then number three, the third thing that causes inflammation is gluten. Okay, so you, I know some of you love that bread. You know, there are certain things, if you cannot find the substitute for it, you just have to lay it on the altar. There are certain things that I've had to just lay on the altar. Certain things that I want, I crave, that would be, if you think, oh man, your, your mouth just starts watering, you want that. Certain things, you just lay it on the altar because you realize that it's destructive and you want to live and have and enjoy life in abundance to the full till it overflows. We don't have to live with sickness and disease. We don't have to live with foggy brains, but we can live with clear brains. We can have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows, but we do have a responsibility. It's not about just walking into a church and having some man or woman of God lay hands on us, anoint us with oil. I believe in that. I know the power of God heals bodies. I see it all the time. I experience it. I've experienced it in my own life, and I see it in the lives of other people all the time. But we don't want to just operate in those areas where we need to get hands laid on us and be prayed for and get rid of it. Because if you don't change your lifestyle, you'll go back into the same old patterns that produced it in the first place. So we want to live free. I'm telling you, you can have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. Well, thanks so much for joining the conversation. I told you last week when I shared with you one of the best ways to get rid of inflammation that the following week I was going to share with you the three primary causes of, of inflammation. So there you have it. Last week I talked about how to get rid of inflammation. The number one specific food that you can ingest that gets rid of inflammation. And I'll tell you what, the success rate is off the charts. Okay, and then this week, the three main areas that cause inflammation. Refined sugar. The second one was fried food. And then the third one we're dealing with is gluten. Okay, so maybe you can't break free from those areas completely at first. That's okay. At least become mindful of ingesting less of them. Let's just start there and find alternatives. Something that's good for us that will take care of that craving for that sweetness, that oil, that bread. Put something in good. Well, thanks so much for joining the conversation. You can follow us on Twitter at Wayne McDonald Abundant Life. You can follow us on Facebook at Wayne McDonald Abundant Life. You can follow us on Instagram at Wayne McDonald Abundant Life. I encourage you to go over to voicetothenations.com. We have a daily devotional every morning, a new one every single day. That's a great way for you to start the day. Your success is in your daily routine. It's what you do daily that's setting you up to live your dream. So log on to voicetothenations.com every morning. There's a, be a, there'll be a fresh devotional. You can read that through, usually within just a very short amount of time, a few minutes. You can also log on to AbundantLifeSolutions.net. You can sign up for some coaching if you like. I would love to work with you one-on-one -on -one and to do some video chatting. I would love for you to share your heart with me, what you want to accomplish as far as your dreams. Maybe you need help in the area of, of food, your diet. 
It's, these are areas that I specialize in. For 20 some years I've been focusing on diet and focusing and studying and I do research for hours and have for over two decades now. Spend time reading books and listening to broadcasts, listening to people who are doctors and nutritionists and I read the book and I just don't take one's explanation but I listen to them all and see what the theme is because in the multitude of counselors the Word of God says purposes are established. So I don't just listen to what one person says. I listen, I get counsel from this one and that one and put it all together and find the solution to our problems. I am absolutely persuaded that there is no problem that you and I face that together as we work and combine our hearts, our minds together, I know we can find the solution. And that's what this broadcast is all about. Helping you have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full so it overflows. This broadcast is about helping you transform your family legacy and live your dreams. It's all about you. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is about you living a life of health, a life of abundance, a life of success. I want to see you live your dreams. I want to see you carry out your destiny and be healthy and enjoy the journey. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's broadcast. Have a great week.